Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, take a look at these. San Antonio Puffy Tacos. That's my hometown. I grew up in San Antonio. And these are a special treat, and you won't believe how easy they are to make. There's just one special ingredient that you need, and it's this, maseca. It's a corn flour made for corn tortillas. And all you need is a nice, generous cup of maseca. You can find that in the Hispanic food section of your grocery store. And then you want to add a little salt, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, give it a stir. And then all you need is warm water, not hot, but just warm. And you need a little less than a cup of warm water. And so I'm going to show you how to mix it together just by hand. You want to make sure your hands are clean. I've sped up the video about twice the normal speed just to save a little time, but I want you to see how easy it is to bring this together. Just add a little bit of water at a time and you work it. It's so simple. And when it comes together, it's kind of dry. I mean, it's not very wet. It kind of has the consistency of Play-Doh once you bring it all together. So you can see it's pretty dry. I'm having to push it together to get it to stick. You can see it just kind of comes through my fingers like that. It's not sticking to my hand anymore. And while I'm doing this, I have some oil heating, getting it ready. It needs to be nice and hot. Let me get the little bits and pieces left over in the bowl, bring them together. You see how simple that is? You see the texture? So very easy. You'll be surprised how easy this is. You can do this if you want to. Look at that. It feels like Play-Doh or modeling clay. And it just kind of breaks apart and then comes right back together. But it's not sticking on my hand at all. And so we just want to bring it together in, in a ball. Like that. Simple, huh? Okay. Easy as that. Nothing on my hands. And then you want a damp paper towel and we'll just cover that. Set that aside for a moment. Let me clear the area. Then all you have to do is pinch off a little piece. And we're going to make a tortilla. And you can make these as big as you want. And you want to make them about the size of a golf ball. All right, that's simple enough. And to keep it simple, I've cut apart a freezer bag, a one gallon freezer bag, so I have two flat sections. And so we'll put this on one on the uh, cutting board, put the other piece of the uh, freezer bag on, and then I have a smaller cutting board, and you just press down on it, just like that, and you can make a tortilla. Now these tortillas need to be thicker than regular tortillas, so a little bit thicker than regular, just like that. But the easiest way to do it is with a tortilla press. And I have a good one, uh, but I wanted to show you that you can do it without a tortilla press. And now you can see my pan of oil. I have it nice and warm, and I'm going to press out this tortilla for puffy tacos. Just like that. So simple. And you want to make sure your oil is uh, warm enough so that, so that it really uh, bubbles when you put the tortilla in. And you just slide it in like that. And just like magic, it's going to puff right up. Watch this. Give it just a moment and it starts to balloon up. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Puffy taco shell. And so give it a, a few seconds on that first side and then you want to turn it over and let it just fry. And then you want to gently press down right in the center because you want to create the fold of the taco shell. And so just gently kind of help it. And the longer you keep this in the oil, of course, it will become more crisp. So you want to just give it a few seconds. You can see how long it's staying in. And all of this is kind of relative. It depends on how hot you have your oil. You want to go for about 350 degrees with your oil temperature. I'm guessing at that. I didn't take the temperature of the oil. I just look at how it, it bubbles when the uh, tortilla goes in. And that's what you want. If it doesn't bubble, it's not nearly hot enough. And then all you do is you just take it out and kind of drain off that oil. Now this is deep fried, so 
that's just the way they are. I'll let that drain off. I've got a rack set up with paper towels to let them continue to drain. Beautiful puffy tacos. It's that simple. And then all you have to do is fill it with your favorite taco filling. Chicken or beef. These are beef tacos. Now for a bite. Mmm. That is so good. San Antonio Puffy Tacos. They are great. And I hope you give them a try. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.